getting some uh, premature high hopper temperatures and some inconsistent gas. Uh, got an air valve open right now, We're running on gasoline. I'm gonna check and see. I'm pretty sure I got a bridge going. Oh, poker rod. Should not be anywhere even remotely close to being out of wood right now. Let's see. Oh, nope, I was wrong. Oh, there is a bridge. There it is. It all just caved in. So what the bridge does, I had wood to about here, about half a hopper full, and it caved down in the center. So I took and knocked in that edge and it filled it back in till about there. That would have dropped my hopper temperature. But as long as we're stopped, we'll go ahead and uh, get refueled. Now because those air valves don't seal, the engine is still running, even if it is on gasoline. It's pulling on the gas fire just a little bit, which massively reduces the uh, risk of a flashback. I was hoping we were going to be able to see the glowing char bed underneath, but that's all right. And hopper temp's already dropping. Perfect. back on the road and get switched back over to wood gas. I know it's running rich even with the wood gas valves closed. I'm going to open the wood gas lines back up. We instantly go full rich, starting to buck a little bit, turn the fuel pump off, we're back on wood. Hopper temps dropping quick, crossover temps came back down, O2 is starting to do its little bounce again. There we go, that was a pretty easy fix tonight. I've only had this truck uh, give me a hopper bridge twice while driving so far and once while I was stopped but that's pretty normal uh, my Toyota will bridge if I stop for too long probably shouldn't be listening to music YouTube will give me a copyright strike all right I want to show you guys that bridge talk to you later